for his son, for his child, he has only the best that is from heaven. But for me to receive it is not cheap. I need to give and surrender my heart with discipline. Amen. So as I grow and I give myself into that, and I'm not feeling threatened by discipline, then I come to a place. You have come to the blood. Amen. The blood that speaks. You have come to Jesus, mediator for a new covenant. You have come to spirits of a righteous made perfect. You have come to God is the judge. You have come to church of the firstborn, the true citizens written in heaven, their names. You have come to gathering of the heavenly host festivity all of heaven. You have come to number seven. Mount Zion and the New Jerusalem. This is all Hebrews 12. Amen. Amen. We've talked about this 72 Sundays already. Amen. amen. Who said amen? You're lying. Okay. So, out of this place, yes, I need to understand the blood of Christ. I need to understand and respect the blood of Christ. That's what God has done for me. There's no cheap way that I will see Jesus. There's no cheap way that I can say I have a relationship with Jesus if he didn't go through the cross. Amen. I will listen to no other voice. First, I will listen to the voice of the blood. The blood speaks. And I will not allow other voices to speak to me at all if it's not through the blood. If it's not in the context of the blood of Christ, if it's not in that perspective, it is deception. Hello? Hello? So be careful how I say, Jesus is saying, Jesus is saying, Jesus is saying that to me. It's all, first of all, out of the context of the blood. Because in the blood I'm protected. Through the blood I will enter. Through the blood I have provision. Through the blood I have boldness. Through the blood I overcome. So in every facet towards the world, towards my brothers, towards God, in every facet, it's through the blood. So first of all, I need to understand how the blood speaks to me. Amen. As the blood is the seal. God gave it the authority that everything will be through the blood. So and the God is the blood is shown. The language is explained on the cross of Christ. Amen. And a road of reconciliation was created through the blood. So that through the blood there is a language of forgiveness that I take this away and I forgive. So that there's a language of opportunity for new relationships, so that I come in a place of I'm free. Amen? Hello? And in that freedom, I have this boldness to enter into relationship. We are welcomed with one another. We stand for this. We proclaim this message. We proclaim this through having victory in our lives because they overcome through the blood of the Lamb, word of their testimony, they didn't love their life even unto death. Amen? All of that, so that at the end of the day, we become the testimony. There's three that will testify on earth that will be the spirit, the water, and the blood. Amen. And where you walk, you will walk this testimony with stature. So that when people see you, they see what the blood can do. They see the effect of the blood of Christ. When they where you live, they where you walk. And when they see God working in you, God working through you, they see the reality of God. You will testify it's only because of the blood. Amen. Hallelujah. So that was the first facet. Then the second facet tonight is all about Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. Amen. So please, come with me and we read from Hebrews 8. Those who didn't have their Bibles here this morning, you have your Bibles here tonight. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 8, verse 10. 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will imprint my laws upon their minds, even upon their innermost thoughts and understanding, and engrave them upon their hearts. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. They shall be my people. Verse 12, For I will be merciful and gracious towards their sins, and I will remember their deeds of unrighteousness no more. I can make a decision not to remember. That's amazing. 
I can do that through the blood of Christ. Amen. So there's a covenant that God has for me. And He will imprint, He will write into my heart. His laws into my mind. His laws, His principles. He will write it there. And further, the two other facets. He will forgive and He will forget. Everybody say, forgive and forget. Let's try that again. Forgive and forget. How can you do that? That's the basic principle of a blood covenant with God and blood covenant with people. If God is writing on your mind, then you will not remember this man did that, that man did that. Did that. You will choose to forgive. If you want God to write his principles in your mind, you better understand how to forget what people have done against you. How will you be able to do that? From your heart, you need to forgive. You can never forget if you not first forgive from your heart. Amen. Because he wants to write his laws, his principles on your heart. But then your heart must be soft. So he will take this heart <clears throat> and allow the word to come against the hardness of heart. Amen. Push against that that is not from him. To push against that so that you become to a, come to a place of brokenness that that heart becomes broken by the word. Hello? And in that brokenness, God is near the brokenhearted because it's a heart that is starting to respond to Him. Amen. So that God can give you a heart of flesh. Amen. Broken heart, I come to you, Lord, for that what is wrong, for that what is right in my life. But change it so that I just have a, this soft heart in the sense of a heart of flesh. Not soft in the sense of no stature, but soft in the sense of you can do whatever you want. You can say whatever you want into my heart and I will respond to that, my Lord. Amen. Amen. So he wants to write that laws in here, but for that I forgive. I take my forgiveness and I forgive. Amen. That's the first law imprinted here is God forgive me. I accept you into my heart. There's the first principle being written, but from there is the road through the blood that I will apply in my life. Because there's no covenant with God that is cheap. But God who wants your heart full out in this covenant. Covenant with God will not ever be without the heart. <clears throat> the heart must be in there. And your heart is precious when you gave your life to Christ. Make sure that you get this word into your heart. How? It's not just by reading it, but by getting the revelation through the Spirit. Because He's writing it in your heart. Amen? So you reading it with the Spirit, and the Spirit put it there. Amen. God promised that. God promised that it will happen. So even just when you read it, you say, Holy Spirit, I don't want to read this verse without you. And as you read it, you believe that as you read it, it is imprinted in here. You have a scanner. Amen. Let it be scanned in here. Amen. Allow that to happen. But for that then also is, I will forgive. I have this heart of forgiveness. I have this heart of grace. If I understand this heart of grace, then my mind can submit to that. But my mind and my heart will work against one another and you will have this life of conflict in yourself. You will think it is with people, but it is not with people. It is with yourself. Your issue is not with somebody else. Your issue is with yourself. When you have some issue with somebody else, it's just a confirmation that you have an issue with yourself. Hello? Because God is in you. You have been crucified with Christ. You no longer live. And God doesn't have issues with other people in the sense of because you feel threatened. You with me? So when you have issues, you understand. You have only an issue with yourself. Mind and heart is not coming in unity, but for the covenant, the blood covenant, heart and mind must come in unity. Hello. It's not just the heart, but the mind must be aligned, renewed, so that, be renewed in your mind, so that you know what is the good, perfect, pleasing, perfect will of God. Amen. So that this mind knows exactly where is the mind of God. Because I have the mind of Christ in my spirit. Amen? And I do hold the thoughts and the feelings of God, as the Amplified says. 
in that description of that verse. Amen. So heart and mind must come together and that there's not con no conflict the whole time. Otherwise, emotions go there. I know this is what I must do, but I feel this. I know this is what I must do, but I feel this. The, the feel must be a revelation. The know must be a revelation. And if this revelation and that revelation is in the Word, it is one revelation. Amen. That sounds very logic. <laughs> Amen. So I allow God to bring that revelation here, that revelation here. Then I choose that I will not remember. God makes a covenant with you that He chooses to forget. I will remember it not anymore. You with me? Can you push yourself with your heart so much into the destiny that God has for you? So much into the, the positive, into the gold that you see in people around you. That you can appreciate the brother and sister too, to such an extent that you really forgot what happened. We had an issue. What was that again? I can't remember. Hello? That you feel stressed that you cannot be, remember who you're supposed not to trust. Because you are so secure in His blood, so secure in the covenant. Because in the relationship, relationships can sometimes go like this. But in covenant, I'm secure. That even though it's sometimes feeling like this and going like this and opinions like this and you've done that wrong and I've done this wrong and etc., etc., etc. But we feel secure because of covenant. Nothing will break our covenant. And that is with God. This is my covenant with you, with my heart and my mind. And this is how my mind will be positioned, my mind as God. This is how my heart will be positioned as God. And so that is what I expect of you in our blood covenant. Amen. Then I'm coming to really to Jesus, the mediator of this covenant. Because there's no cheap relationship with Jesus. Only through the blood, with a heart and a mind that is set on Him, with a commitment that is full out. Amen. Amen. So tomorrow somebody offends, you feel offended by this or by that, you will not withdraw because you will not allow that immaturity because you will keep His covenant. You will keep His covenant. Amen. Now, I'm not going to take that time, but... What I was supposed to get into also this morning about how God made the covenant. He says we must remember the covenant and He's remembering it. We must establish the covenant as He established it. We must keep the covenant as He is keeping it. We must read the book of the covenant. We find the ark of the covenant and the whole concept of that. Yes, we need, must never break that covenant. People will join in the covenant. We must be mindful of this covenant. Hallelujah. That is another hour at another time. Amen. Praise the Lord for that.